the subcommittee will come to order. Um, Ranking Member Norton will be uh, detained for a short period of time. She's uh, uh, at a different hearing right now testifying. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. Uh, this hearing is focused on the General Services Administration's capital investment and leasing program and examining ways to cut spending and consolidate federal office space. Today we're reviewing the 2012 program and the remaining lease prospectuses uh, from the 2011 program. Uh, given the financial crisis facing our country, we simply must reduce the amount of money we spend to house federal employees. Excess and underutilized properties must be eliminated. The price we pay for space has, has to be controlled, and agencies will have to house more people in less space. The committee intends to scrutinize each project from this perspective in order to determine if they will save taxpayer money. We received the President's proposal uh, 2012 budget proposal nearly a month ago. Uh, that budget proposes to spend $840 million on construction and acquisition projects and $869 million on repairs and alteration projects. The budget includes funding for specific projects including ports of entry, FBI consolidations, and the repair and alteration of other federal buildings. Our committee just received GSA's fiscal year 2012 capital improvement program uh, yesterday, nearly a month after the release of the President's budget. Year after year, this subcommittee has requested GSA provide its capital investment program early in the year so that we can act in a timely fashion. I do appreciate that we did receive the program prior to this hearing and hope we can uh, work with GSA on ensuring timely submission in the future. I also want to thank Mr. Peck for his response to the letter signed by all the members of this committee last week requesting access and information from the Federal Real Property Profile Database regarding GSA properties. I do remain concerned, however, that some of the requests remain outstanding. For example, in January, GSA briefed subcommittee staff on the lease prospectuses still pending from the 2011 leasing program, and staff requested information on many of those projects. Responses to those requests were uh, only received yesterday. In addition, at the hearing we had last month, members of the subcommittee asked for information to be submitted. Many of those deadlines are today, including uh, the old post office building, uh, an explanation to the subcommittee why the RFP has not been released, uh, a list of properties losing money on an annual basis in the nation, national capital region. Uh, we did have the operating costs in there, but without the uh, revenues associated with that, uh, it uh, does not allow us the opportunity to see whether or not we're losing money. Recommendations on any changes needed to existing law to streamline the property disposal process. Uh, we will be coming out with our own uh, recommendations in, in bill form, uh, so we would certainly like to work with GSA on their recommendations in that process. I hope we're going to receive the uh, responses to uh, those questions uh, very soon. Uh, this committee does not plan to approve leases until we receive this information. I want to make sure GSA is very well aware of that. The administration's goal of addressing the problem of unneeded and underutilized assets is one that is shared by this subcommittee. It is critical that we have access to relevant information in a timely fashion so that we can effectively work with GSA and the administration on proposals to stop waste when it comes to our public buildings and facilities. I look forward to uh, working with Mr. Peck on these issues. Um, and I would just like to add for the record, we had a great meeting yesterday over at your office. I appreciate the uh, opportunity not only to get together, but some frank conversation on how we can greatly improve the process and work together. Uh, Ms. Norton uh, will be here shortly, and uh, I will still allow her an opening testimony. But uh, uh, for now, I would... Uh, you have no opening. I would uh, like to call on Mr. Peck for uh, opening statement. Well, well.